gathered here in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. The message that we are going to share this morning from the readings is all about God giving us hope. God is our source of joy. God is our source of salvation. God is our source of comfort. God is all in all. He's telling us, don't be afraid. I'm with you. For the many times we failed to trust in his power and providence and protection, let us ask for his mercy. I confess to you, Almighty God. I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. O God who adorned the priest, Saint Camillus, with the singular grace of charity towards the sick. Pour out upon us by his merits a speech of love for you, so that serving you in our neighbors, we may at the hour of our death pass safely over to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the end of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob gave his sons this charge. Since I am about to be taken to my people, bury me with my fathers in the cave that lies in the field of Ephron, the Hittite, the cave in the field of Machpelia, facing Mahi, in the land of Canaan, the field that Abraham bought from Ephron the Hittite for a burial ground. There Abraham and his son Sarah are buried, and so are Isaac and his son Rebekah, his wife Rebekah. And there too I buried Leah. The field and the cave in it that had been purchased from the Hittites. Now that their father was dead, Joseph's brothers came fearful and thought, suppose Joseph has been nursing a grudge against us and now plans to pay us back in full for all the wrong we did to him. So they approached Joseph and said, before your father died, he gave us these instructions. You shall say to Joseph, Jacob begged you to forgive the criminal wrongdoing of your brothers, so treated you so cruelly. Please, therefore, forgive the crimes that we, the servants of your father's God, committed. When they spoke these words to him, Joseph broke into tears. Then his brothers proceeded to fling themselves down before him and said, let us be your slaves. But Joseph replied to them, have no fear. Can I take the place of God? 
even though you meant harm to me, God bent it for good to achieve his present end, to survive the, of many people. Therefore, have no fear. I will provide for you, for your children. By thus speaking kindly to them, he reassured them. Joseph remained in Egypt together with his father's family. He lived 110 years. He saw Ephraim's children to their third generation and the children of Mimashis, son of Meher, where they were born on Joseph's knees. Joseph said to his brothers, I'm about to die. God will surely take care of you and lead you out of this land to the land that he promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then putting the sons of Israel under his oath, he continued, when God thus takes care of you, you must bring up my bones up from here to a place Joseph died at the age of 110. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. Glory to his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Be glad, you lowly ones. May your hearts be glad. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgment prevails. Be may glad, your holy ones, ones, may your may heart your be glad. glad. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you, for the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his, dis to his apostles, no disciple is above his teacher. No slave is above his master. It is enough for the disciple that he become like his teacher, for the slave that he become like his master. For they have called the master of the house, if they have called the master of the house Belzebul, Belzebul, how much more? those of his household. For therefore, do not be afraid of them. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor sacred, nor sacred secret that will not be known. What I say to you in darkness, speak in the light. And what you hear, whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather be afraid of the one who can destroy, destroy both soul and body in gain. You, are you, are, are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls on the ground without 
the father's knowledge. Even all the, air, the hairs of your head are counted, so do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. The message this morning, as we shared at the start, open God, don't be afraid. The first reading gives us the step of reconciliation. Sometimes we, we get heavily loaded. At the moment when we remember what took place upon us, the wounds and the scars, and they feel that I can't forgive this person. I can't forgive this family. I can't forgive so and so because of what I see in my life. They've caused this to happen. But we forget that everything that takes place in our life happens for a reason. And it is for the good of your life one day. You are going to benefit from it. So keep trusting in God. God is going to make you a blessing one day. Joseph, as you've heard from the first reading, was sold by his brothers out of hatred. They hated him. They wanted him dead. Out of this death which they willed, he's the one who is going to save them when they go to Egypt. So God is using you, God is making you an instrument of salvation to others. Don't give up. Don't hate yourself. Don't fail to forgive. Now, Joseph is becoming the source of joy to his family. Some of you, you are disappointed by your family members, by your cousins, by your aunties, by so many things, to mention but a few. But remember that maybe you are the light in your family and you must shine. Allow yourself to shine for others, to make them to see that God is love is still in existence. Jesus tells us in the gospel that even himself was insulted. And we know very well that he reached an extent of dying for us. But death couldn't contain him because he has the power of God. Let us pray that the hand of God may always be in everything that we do in our life. That even at the moments when we seem to be dead, God makes us to move and walk. May God's grace support you, accompany you in your families, wherever you are going to go, at your places of work, in your house. Don't be afraid. Let us stand up and raise our petitions to God. For the church in her work of charity, for the poor and the overburdened, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders 
who will listen even to the humblest citizens. We pray, we, 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 we pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for the people who have shut God out of their lives. We pray to the Lord for the children who discover God in our community. We pray to the Lord, Lord hear our prayer. for the safety of those on the mission trip to Guatemala this week, and that guided by the Holy Spirit, they may, they may build up the body of Christ across the cultures. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, those in hospitals, that God's hands may touch them. Lord, hear us. For those whom we, see, who we feel that we can't forgive anymore, that God's spirit and grace may touch our hearts to be free. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, you've already told us not to be afraid. We trust your mercy. You must see that it can come upon us to support us as we move on and as we forgive one another. May your grace keep us safe as we trust that you are always with us. We ask for this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of the, the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the, the vine and the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Pray us of the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and just. It is very right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your sins, 
You, you make your church fruitful with the strength ever new, and it offers us sure signs of your love, and that your serving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed. That is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a, pe a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy this gift we have brought to you for consecration that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppose he ended, he took the chalice and once more giving his thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. And profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memory of, of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the blood and blood of your Son and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body and one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and Saint Camillus, the saint of the day, and with all the saints on who, whose constant inter intercession in your presence with life or unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on us with your servant Francis our Pope, James our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summoned before you. In your compassion, your merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your, your glory through Lord Jesus Christ, through whom you bestow on the world, all oh, that is good. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, the Almighty Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, all who grow and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray in the words that our Savior taught us as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every one grace us, grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, may peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church. And the grace us will grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray in thanksgiving. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, God, in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.